Hello everyone, Dead Spikes here, and today we're going to be making an Explorer Note Run video. It's the fastest way to level in the beginning of Ark Survival Ascended. So I use this method to get to close to 70. Um, I'm creating a brand new character you can see here, and these are on official rates for experience, so I don't have anything boosted. So if you go to official or any server that has official rates, you should get the same outcome that I have here. Now I'm going to be doing a one for one speed video of running through and grabbing all the explorer notes and hopefully you guys will be able to pause the video and kind of keep up with me. It isn't a safer area so dying to creatures is very unlikely but that is something to note is that we're on timers when we're doing this run so you need to stay alive. If you die to something you kind of messed it up and you might want to make a new character or you're definitely not going to get the same amount of experience out of the whole run. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, created a brand new character. Now we're on the island. So we're going to want to go to West Zone 2 on the bottom left. There probably is other areas that you could do, and there very possibly could even be a better method. But this is the method that I use, and I think it works very well. So we're going to West Zone 2, and that's where we're spawning. We want to be on the east side of West Zone 2, which it looks like that is where we spawned. We got very lucky on our spawn here. You could either run over to the east side to start this, or kill yourself to try to respawn over here. It's up to you. But I would definitely recommend starting on the east side. So, we can see on our map, we're on the east side of this little island, like I said. And we're going to go to the bottom of it for our first note. Now, if you were playing Ark Survival Evolved, you would want to put points in while you were running to get movement speed. But since we don't level movement speed in Ark Survival Ascended, it's not that important. You still can. Like, I'll probably put some points in for stamina, but that's about it. It's a good idea to run around and grab berries while you're going through here. But here is your first note. I will have the map up to help you. That's at 92.5, 22.8. We're going to go up the hill here. Again, collecting berries while we're running, just so we have a little bit of a food source. Run around this uh, rock to the back side, and this is going to be our big explorer note. That first explorer note we grabbed was only uh, a two times explorer note, I think. This next one we're grabbing is like a three times or five times explorer note, and they stack together. See, since I'm out of stamina here, he's a good time to level up. Now I'm going to put my stamina up to 800. I'm not going to tell you guys how to level up. Um, I will show you what I do, but it's all up to what you think's best. I personally only go up to 200 stamina and 200 health, and pretty much the rest goes into weight. A little bit of fortitude. Be very careful when trying to get this one. You can over jump easily. Run into this, and boom. Big explorer note. Uh, I'm not sure why something about single player is messing up my XP values on my explorer notes on the bottom right. I will just leave it to the game being in early access. But these are supposed to be two different buffs. Supposed to be getting a yellow buff and a purple buff. That one was the purple buff. Again, I apologize. I could go to official and show you, but we know how that kind of turns out. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to play official for the last two days, and it's just constantly freezing and kicking me. So, we definitely got to do this in single player for right now. I will promise you, you'll get to at least above 60 from this run, though. Could make it to 70 if you made it right. Uh, come down here, and you can grab some water. This is where I refill my water. Do some level ups while we're waiting for stamina. I'm going to get some fortitude, and I like to go to 20. Get a little bit of health. Make sure you're good on water. And then over here, I will give you the cords again. 93.6 and 18.8. That note. And we're going to go behind this rock and up this hill here. Stay to the left a little bit. We got quite a few explorer notes still to grab. Again, I would be collecting as much materials as you can while you're running. All right. This one's the harder one for me to find. Should be able to get. I don't know how much further it is. And all the castles up there to the right. Down here, left. Uh, 
There it is right there. Well, on this note right here. Floor notes give you a large chunk of XP. Uh, I'll show you the chords for that quick. That is 88.6 and 19.1. Floor notes give you a large chunk of XP on top of giving you a buff that increases all experience gains for the next 10 minutes. That keeps stacking. Alright, come up here. Here's the next explorer note right in here. That's at 88.8, 20.6. Now we're going to want to go down the hill kind of to the right. Towards Green Obelisk a little bit there. We only got a few more explorer notes in this run. Um, unfortunately, the level that I get to is not going to be comparative to official. Because... For some reason, my XP buff on the bottom right is messing up for a single player. It must have been a setting I did or something. Here's the next Explorer note. 88.1, 23.2. Now, I think there's one back here. It's either behind it or in front of it. And I think it's behind it. Yep, it's right there. Any, like, stony structure you see like this is more than likely going to have an Explorer note tied to it. This one's at 89.4 and 24. Now we're going to go to the far north. And we're going to have to jump the river. Try to stay away from tickle chickens or therizinos. Those are definitely the scariest thing of this whole area here. Um, with our food being out, probably grab some berries and put them in our hot bar. Then you can hit them as you're running. little bit of a food source run around that guy I don't think those are really aggressive unless you start the fight but I definitely don't like getting close to them all right here's the little river gap we're gonna want to jump there is a I'm going to be getting one Explorer note over here, but there is two, and I don't know where the other one is. It should be close to it somewhere. But if you could find that one on the map, you could get a second one right here. But I don't have it in my run, because I'm not sure exactly where it is. <laughs> we do only have two Explorer notes left in my run. Alright, back here. Right more. And we're going to gather up some fiber and berries. Fiber will definitely help us in the future. Okay, I think it's right here. Yep, there you go. There's another explorer note. And there's one really close by right around here. I'm not sure where it is. Um, oh, I'll give you the cards for that, sorry. It is 81.8. 22.1 and now for the last one I like to hop across this little stream here go up on this peninsula over here uh, bum -bum 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 -bum. again it is pretty important you don't die while doing this run or even after, you really need to try to stay alive. I would almost create a new character if you did die and start the run. Because you really want those XP buffs. Alright, so I'm going to stop and make some armor real quick. While I'm waiting for my stamina. Grab some extra engrams we need. Alright, so I like to make these armor since they're easy. So it says I got to 49 so far. That's probably pretty accurate. That's, that seems actually pretty close to what I normally do. Um, we do want to get some more points in health. And then I just, I literally just pumped the rest into weight. Oh, we do need 200 stam. Oh, so I need one more point. Uh, right back here is the final note. Where are we? Further back. Where is the note? 
You're a little bit lost. I know it's up here somewhere. Pago Max on us. Oh, there it is. Right there. Get alone, Pago Max. Alright, so this note. That 8324. Holy crap, there's a lot of Pago Max. 8324 was that one. I really don't want to die here. <laughs> And that is the final note of the run. So after you have all the notes, I would try to maybe build a raft to get around the island easier. Um, but definitely be crafting stuff. Try to make some tools, uh, get some armor upgrades, get up to metal tools. Did I tame that Pegomax? Oh, it's a little bit tame. <laughs> um, narcotics are the best experience in the game. So you're going to have this buff down there for the bottom right. For about 4,000 seconds, you can see... Um, while that buff's active, you want to be working as hard as you can to level up. So, make a mortar and pestle, make some narcotics, make a little base, do whatever you can to use that XP and turn it into leveling up. But without crafting anything, I got to 52 just off of the notes. Um, I do think you'll be more like 57 or 58 if my XP buffs worked correctly. So, around 57, 58 at this point. And as long as you don't die, you're definitely going to hit 60 without crafting stuff. But if you crafted stuff and made the best out of it, you can easily hit 70. There you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this or you found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button as it does help me out a lot. Leave some suggestions down below for videos in the future. Do you want to see a different Explorer Note run? Maybe somewhere else? Do you want me to go over what to do afterwards after you get all the XP buffs? You guys let me know. I love to make videos and I would love to help you guys out. Make sure to subscribe for future content. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. This is Bikes out.